Hi everybody, welcome back to my channel. Uh, thanks for tuning in. I am going to do a flip through of this uh, completed journal. It's a new one for me. Um, it's uh, got a very vintage and grunge feel to it. Very um, handmade with those loose threads that I love so much. Um, it includes a good amount of authentic ephemera, um, lots of originals. There are a few copies. I'll try and remember to point those out where I can. Um, but um, yeah, it's got a very loose travel theme, which you'll see throughout as I flip through, but it's not, it's not, um, you know, hitting you over your head with the, with the travel theme. Um, so yeah, let's get started. My name is Charnay. I'm the Papyrophile. I would really love it if you're not already to, for you to become a subscriber. Um, please like this video. Leave me a comment just to say that you were here. Just, you know, saying hi. Um, all right. So about this journal, it is, I did not measure it. I usually do in advance about six by probably nine yeah just over nine inches um and the spine is about two two inches it has a hard cover um but the spine is fabric covered so um not at all squishy or anything like that but i have introduced and you'll see in here some fabric elements to sort of soften up that um that hard feel all right so here we go on the cover we've got some things that are just uh, this is just seam binding um, I get all of my seam binding from bygones variety shop and if I remember in my description I will tag um, Kelly Kelly snow is the owner of that shop um, and she's got a lot of great stuff for us junk journalers or artisan journalers so first things first got some things clipped here to the front um, just a little tag that I made from some ephemera I believe this was a bus ticket or some sort of public transportation ticket and I've just used the Tim Holtz tiny attacher there to attach them this uh, cute picture look how beautiful that is and this little girl reminds me of my four-year-old uh, so much she said um, that little girl's bow is so pretty it's pink <laughs> um, so I included this I thought they were beautiful um, just a railroad stop order whatever that might be <laughs> so that is vintage as well some more ephemera here this a canceled bank check this one is an authentic canceled bank check bank check from Clarkfield State Bank in Minnesota. This is dated December 30th, 1893. So really, really cool to have that, including that. For whomever purchases this journal, you will get all of this ephemera and some extra goodies that I normally put in. Uh, Maryland and Pennsylvania Railroad Company. This is also authentic um, with the handwriting. 1955 is what that says in the corner. I added um, some tape that I aged and antiqued. Um, maybe I'll do a video on that. I don't use alcohol inks like a lot of other crafters do because I don't own any <laughs> alcohol inks. So um, let me know in the comment section if you're interested in a video on how to make this aged vintage um, tape. All right, so that is the little bundle from the front cover. Now onto the actual cover. What I used was one of these paper bags and it's got some vintage printing on it. Several pieces of the Tim Holtz fabric tape. Um, these with the ledger printed are um, some of the older tapes. These fabric ones are the new tapes and they just came out last week. So I am excited to have received my shipment. Um, yeah. <laughs> All right. So little, I got this in happy mail from one of my crafty friends. And this is about the um, railroad California Railroad. I thought that was interesting to include in here. I don't see a date on any of this. Um, I have several pieces of this old magazine or newspaper and I don't know what year it's from. But yeah. So 
my little bag flips out to reveal another flip. And that is, this is the actual cover of the book. And I just included some more ephemera in this little pocket here. A little tag. And hopefully this can focus. A little family there in front of their car. And since this has sort of a travel theme, I thought this group looks like they're sightseeing. <laughs> so I included them. And these men from 1943, Sunday, February 21st, 1943, they are most definitely sightseeing. They look like they're, I don't even know, out. This is definitely a mountain behind them, so I don't know, hiking <laughs> in, a, in a whole suit <laughs> in the 40s. Um, so yeah, these just some cute, just a tuck in. What I made uh, this pocket from is just some um, glassine paper that I make also myself and let's oh i forgot there's another pocket inside the front cover and again this all will come with the journal if you purchase it authentic um, vintage letters i have a few of these in my stash and i have read them um or just skimmed them <laughs> but i think it's interesting like how people you know will doodle on the back of mail that they have just sitting around in their kitchen Again, this is all um, authentic items. So this is, first one is 1954, uh, 1946, and 1944. And those tuck right into this side pocket on the front cover. If I could get it back in, that'd be great, right? <laughs> all right, so let's open first page. So first page of the journal, of course, world map, you can't go wrong. I stitched this postcard right onto the page. So you can see here and here, and what it made is like a belly band where I've put a couple of pieces of ephemera, guest check, and um, a postcard. Judging by this sign, I'm thinking this is France somewhere, but I don't speak French. <laughs> um, more of that um, antique, Tape that I like so much and this that is throughout the book because I just love it so much all right page number two got a stitched pocket with some vintage ephemera this is a copy of a promissory note from 1886 I'm sorry 1866 <laughs> and that just tucks right in and if you were to use this as your own travel journal of course you can take everything out of the pockets and put your own ephemera in here any tickets to things that you want to see any um why am i having trouble there you go. <laughs> any of those guide maps and things that you get when you travel um however you want to use it um some uh, onion skin paper that's been treated by me um another thing i can do is another video on how i treat papers and age them and give them different effects like this i love this crunchy sound and I feel like journalers in general are very um, tactile and they love the textures and the different sounds. So I can do another video um, on that if my subscribers are interested. Um, all right, little pocket here. Some more ephemera. This is from that same magazine. Again, I just chose what looked like some travel theme pages. This pocket I made from uh, some of the Tim Holtz paper. I heard from another YouTuber that he's no longer making the 12 by 12 paper pads, um, which is real sad because I mean, look, they're already, you know, just vintage and grungy and you don't have to do anything to them to get rid of that fresh, clean and new um, pattern and feel that you get with scrapbooking paper in general. So I'm, I'm sad to see, to hear that. But Tim is always moving on to bigger and better, so I'm excited to see what is next. Um, all right, so more pieces of this is the Black Forest of Germany. So there's that. Some coffee dyed paper. You all know me. There's going to be some ledger paper in <laughs> in my journals. I thought this was the coolest um, advertisement. It's a Chevy ad. See that? It's from 1935. I just, I don't know. I. The fact that clearly they're going someplace fancy um, just appealed to me. Right, let me 
get back in frame here, shall I? I'm gonna move in a little closer. There we go. All right, so made these pockets. I just put in some tags. Obviously they are ripe for pictures if you want to put photos in them. Some more coffee dyed paper, a collaged page, more of that tape, a little photo strip. This is a functional pocket. Right now there's a, there's a um, bus ticket in there, but again, you can throw a real bus ticket, your bus ticket from your trip in here if you'd like. There's lots of hardware throughout this book. I tried to just include a lot of cool stuff um, that I would want in a journal. And this is um, one of those bulb pins that I rusted myself. Again, that could go in the video about how to age papers and things. I'm gonna zoom, there we go. Um, if anybody's interested, more coffee dyed paper, lots and lots of writing space in this journal. A little pocket that I made from some ephemera, a receipt, more hardware here. This is, I've used this in, in books past and it is calligraphy paper it's labeled as onion skin. It doesn't feel like any onion skin that I know of. It's more like rice paper used for um, Chinese calligraphy, like a handwriting paper. Really kind of soft. It's 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 pretty amazing. All right, a little um, faux notepad that I made and I made a pocket out of this page. More vintage letter. Um, this is 9 12 22 1922 and this one is actually French and it's one of those letters that becomes the envelope so whoever wrote this didn't have to do that you just put your postage right <laughs> on the letter I think that's awesome we should be doing that no well we're not even writing letters now so there's that right <laughs> all right next page little um, library card catalog cards you don't see those anymore, right? And clipped on the side is a vintage invoice. And I'm trying to <laughs> keep this thing kind of put together so I don't have to go back and add all the ephemera back. So I'm gonna try and replace them as I show it. One of those policy envelope with the figure eight closure. There's nothing in here. This is actually sewn to the page. So if you wanted to stick in, you know, let's see what I have here, a coupon, you can stick something in and close this up. Again, this is meant to be your journal. So you can add whatever you'd like in here. This is one of my favorite um, middle of the signature spreads. It's, it's one sheet of paper that I spread across two and just folded it in the middle. I don't know. I just... I love everything about it. I tend to really love that airmail red and blue border on things. Okay, another tuck spot. This is a just a um, like a faux envelope. Two postcards here. Writing space. Uh, I did a couple of these sewn fabric tabs. Let's see if I can get a little closer here. And attach them again with the tiny attacher stapler. Just to give, again, some texture. Some more of that Chinese writing paper. Some um, vintage maps. The vintage map pattern paper that you can find out there is pretty cool because it has names for places that we just simply don't use anymore. The other side of that Chevy uh, advertisement. Ledger. Adventure Awaits. This is a Tim Holtz item as well I forget label I forget what they're called but they had they're raised like you used one of those label makers old school on oh, more of that onion skin paper all right the next signature and in between the signatures you'll see I have this um, vintage almost coffee stained looking fabric in between all right so this is actually a pocket and I just used a um, ephemera, piece of ephemera card again from Tim Holtz. I should buy stock in Tim Holtz. Is he publicly traded? <laughs> All right, that goes right in. 
and clip and just a collaged pocket and I just added if you're crafty and you buy this journal you can you know craft up ink up decorate your own little tag and there's some detail there I use some heavy duty thread on this page I just wanted to try it out you can see the difference in thickness between the heavy duty and regular thread I just I think it's just a cool option to have all right so moving on some more random book and magazine page this is like the crispiest <laughs> onion skin paper ever so it's um it's the onion skin paper but I coffee dyed it and I let it sit in the um in the cookie sheet in the oven where the coffee was kind of pooled in one area so that's where you get these circular areas but I mean this that's just lovely right <laughs> all right flip out page it says and travel as much as you can this is my motto <laughs> mine and my mother's we both love to travel and just sort of get away again more writing space lots and lots of opportunities to document another collaged um, pocket and in this pocket we've got just um, basically a page from a uh, my brain is not working today <laughs> like a financial planner and then some vintage a vintage receipt here and that just tucks in and I what I tried to do with this book is just have things sort of spilling out over the edges I wanted the very opposite of neat and tidy <laughs> right. I'm going to flip through the blank pages rather quickly because I don't want this video to be too long just some more onion skin paper this has the red um, stripes on it middle of the signature some dictionary pattern paper another fabric tag and coffee dyed envelope I have several of these signal cards they seem to be military in nature I just don't understand like exactly what we're looking at yeah so navy numerical uh, no navy numeral flag I don't know if you know what this is or what it means please let me know in the comment section I'm curious I have several of these and they're definitely vintage like all of this um, discoloration all of the patina around the edge I didn't do any of that that is from how old this is all right one of my favorite pages in the in the journal I love a postal slot so I just threw some things in but you can see on that map paper lots of stitching very very sloppy stitching which is actually my preference when it comes to sewing machine and got some vintage ledger that says cash at the top and another office touch right that I love And that folds right on out. Look at how large this section is. I mean, I threw some small stuff in here, but I mean, this thing is as big as my hand. Um, Central Park, New York in Manhattan. I am originally from New York, not Manhattan, but um, I love these postcards. I'm sort of hoarding these. <laughs> this set of postcards has a lot of New York City uh, scenery and yeah, I'm using them sparingly. <laughs> Journaling card. Another pocket. This actually came from the same set of journal cards. I'm sorry, of postcards. I don't know where this bridge is. Let me know if it looks familiar to you. <laughs> it looks very European, in my opinion. These almost look like castles, the trestles there. All right, and here we are. Again, with the travel theme.
And this is a cute little fold out world map. Right. A pocket that I just clipped to this page. And these, um, this came in a digital set. This, the pocket itself or the slide cover itself um, from Bohemian Crafting. She's on Etsy. She also has a great YouTube channel um, if you're looking for more journalers, you know, showcasing their items. Um, but yeah, she's got just a bunch of things that you can cut out and, and age and grunge up yourself. Um, I added this dictionary page into the window. I added the window, obviously. Uh, some fabric. I've just got some little tiny pieces of ephemera in here. Just something fun. Again, if you're using this as a day-to-day -day journal, or even a travel journal, throw in whatever you'd like. The stitch slots. This is a die, die cut. So that can be just filled up with small things, large things. This is a belly band. So you could slide things back here. More super, super duper uh, coffee stained onion skin. Some coffee dyed uh, notebook paper. Another collaged layered pocket. This is a an altered playing card that I got in some Happy Meal from another crafty friend. I don't know how she did this. She said that she followed a YouTube tutorial on this, but um, I haven't looked at that particular video yet, but I think it's pretty cool. It looks like some sort of, I don't know, masking tape or something on top and paint and book page, I don't know. I added the quote and that fits perfectly right inside this little pocket here. So it's a small flip, another pocket, another page. This was also featured on my Instagram. If you follow me there, I'm Papyrophile Custom Crafts on Instagram as well. Some more vintage tape on an old invoice. Let me get some of my water here. An invoice. This has the most beautiful handwriting on it. Check that out. All right, third and final signature. We're almost done, guys. I pinned just this fabric cluster that I made here. Some ledger, some book page another blank ledger ledger is nice because it adds to the vintage feel but also you can write on it because clearly it's you know it's it's um lined for input right more writing space another inverted pocket here well not another I think this is the first one <laughs> what it is is another library card and journaling card and that just slides right up into there and that's got some stitching lots of stitching in this book again I was going for that handmade feel and let's see if I can get closer this whale tail um, tab was part of some Happy Mail also. And I just added a clay bead and an eyelet to that. All right, this pocket, another spot to write some things down. That just slides right back into the pocket. Oh, do it this way. Easier, Sharnay. Here we go. <laughs> so that flips out to reveal a little tuck spot. And this is obviously a Berlin postcard. I just added one of my rusty bulb pins to it. 
very, very, very um, nostalgic, especially with those colors, right? Alright. What else do we have? Oh, oh, oh. Here we go. Another receipt with some hardware here. Little charm. Okay. Other side of that book page and ledger. This is just sort of sitting in here. How cool is this? I I guess this is a catalog of some sort for new cars. These are Lincolns. So I guess it's from a Lincoln book, but look at that. 1950s, well, 40s and 50s. And I didn't want to alter this at all, cut it up, so I just sat it on the edge of this page, like that. And another pocket. This was also featured on my Instagram. So this pocket is layered, so add this. See that it slides right inside of the window, and then there's another pocket, second layer of pocket, with another vintage letter. This is from 1920 or 28. It's hard to read it. But yeah, goes there. And last page is a little flip out. And I love this little sentiment. This is my story. We're all storytelling, right, in these journals. And the other, um, back, the back cover with some more of that map and some more of that vintage tape. And one last little secret <laughs> tuck spot pocket on the side. And this pocket is huge. I mean, it spans the length of the book. And that is the back cover. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the around the world journal. I am, well, as of the posting of this video, it is up on my uh, Etsy for sale. Um, I'm, I'm a little delayed with that, actually. My apologies. I was having some camera trouble. So I wasn't able to film the flip through and I didn't want to have it up with just a few pictures and, you know, potential buyer would not be able to, you know, really see it. So um, video is up, obviously, if you're watching this. And yeah, I would love for you to purchase this for yourself, uh, for a family member. We're coming up on spring. People are getting ready to hopefully leave their homes. So again, my name is Charnay. I'm the Papyrophile. Thank you for tuning in. Please join me uh, for another video. Um, I'm going to link a couple. You'll probably see some across the bottom of the screen. Um, and if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.